So I just stumbled across a certain team of the season card, saw his price and thought, it really is easy for people to get a good team at the moment. How is this guy so cheap? If you're tired of coming up against teams like this, you can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code JAMBU for 5% off. So guys, we are going to be having a look at some good value players from the team of the season. And there's one card in particular. I actually cannot believe what I'm seeing. This guy, you know, if you're new to FIFA, if you're on a budget, you just have to get this guy in there. I actually cannot believe, like I say, that he is this cheap. It is insane. But do me a favor, leave a like on the video. Let's try and hit 200. I think you guys can do that easily. And subscribe if you're new. I upload every single day with these sort of videos, helping you guys get better at the game, the best tactics on YouTube. We have got it all. So do not miss out. Subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay, guys. So as always, I'll let you know when we're talking about the player from the title and thumb. I don't want you guys getting confused with who we're looking at because Casemiro, he is a good value player, but he's not the one I'm talking about. But looking at him, I don't know how many of you guys have played against this guy in the weekend league. He is an absolute nightmare, especially when the game plays bad. You cannot get round this guy. He's got the four-star weak foot, you know, to help with his passing and stuff. He's a little bit clunky on the ball. But defensively, you know, if he gets near the ball, it's like a force field, man. Like, this guy is stepping in, making the tackles. His physicals are just off the chart outrageous. And if you're in need of a fairly good value CDM, he is definitely one to look at. We've then got Bruno Guamarez. I've used him quite a bit. I think he's a bit more expensive than Casemiro, but really, really nice. You know, as, as far as box-to-box -box midfielders go... This guy is absolutely right up there. Really nice pace. He's clinical as well for a midfielder. Some of the best passing in the game. Insane on the ball. Defensively good and physically good as well. He's got the outside of the foot shot. So if you play him at like a right-sided centre mid, you're going to be able to hit those Travellers with him. Um, it's a bit sad that he's only 3-star, three 3-star. Three but we'll let it slide. It's a very, very decent card. And, you know, one to definitely have a look at. We've then got Tadic. This guy's unique. Absolutely unique. And I'll tell you why. So he's 5'11", which is, you know, it's a decent height for a winger. He's insane on the ball. But then he's got 92 strength. So you got to think, if you're doing, you know, your ball roll scoops, your elasticos, and you're bumping into defenders... This guy is knocking him over with that strength. He is so strong on the ball, but so silky as well. It's really, it's a really strange, you know, sort of feeling when, when on the ball with this sort of card. But he's very, very good. Super good finishing, passing, dribbling, like I say. Quick enough as well. You're probably going to want to stick a hunter on him to get that pace up. But he's got the outside of the foot shot as well. Stick him as your captain. He's got the leadership trait. I actually don't know whether that does anything at all. But Tadic is very good, and there's some super good value Dutch League team of the seasons as well. So definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, we've then got a new one, Romarino, or Romarino. I don't know how to say it, but this, this is a special card. He's five-star skills, four-star weak foot. I was scared they were going to make him four-star, four-star, but they didn't. So thank the Lord for that. But this card is insane. He's five foot nine, meaning that, you know, basically the way it works is the shorter you are, the better you tend to be on the ball on this game, or at least that's how it feels. Blister in pace, great shooting, you know, oh, it's a bit better than okay passing. It's decent passing. But 99 agility balance and 93 dribbling at 5 foot 9 means he is going to be outrageously good on the ball. And then he's got 81 strength. Players like this, they are serious because he is not going to get knocked off the ball. It reminds me of what Eusebio used to be like on other Fevers. You remember a few years back when Eusebio was like the absolute meta? And I think it's because. When you get these small players that end up being really strong, it breaks the game. And then he's also got the 99 stamina, doesn't have any of the shooting traits, which is really unfortunate. But trust me, this card is 
you know, he's going to be super, super good if you can find a way of linking him into the team. There's a few good Saudi league options. I don't think many of us are going to be able to afford Ronaldo. Um, what an absolute rip-off that card is, by the way. But if you can get Romarinho into your team, whether it be through Saudi league, Brazilian league links... Uh, sorry, just Brazil links, not Brazilian league. This is worth throwing in anyway. I'm waffling now, but this card is worth throwing in if you can manage to do it. We've then got one of the best centre-backs in the entire game. It is Gatruida. 90 pace. Crazy defending and physicals. Insane agility balance. This guy is actually nuts. He is just actually nuts. One of the best value players in the entire game. Six foot one, can play right back as well, but I would recommend having him as a centre back. I think that is his best position for sure. Moving on, we have Tavernier or Tavernier, and he's really well rounded. Um, I wish he could play as a box to box midfielder. The only way is to obviously move him there in game. But he always gets a card like this, doesn't he? Every single year. But really nice pace, good shooting, passing, dribbling, defending. It's just like very decent all round. It's it's a very well rounded, you know, does what it says on the tin sort of card. He has got that leadership as well. Does anyone know if that leadership trait actually does anything? Please do let me know. I don't think it does, but you never know. You never know. Um, but yeah, that is Tavernia. We've then got Nathan Ake. So he is coming in, uh, I think, around 200,000 coins right now. And the player we're about to look at after him is the player that I'm talking about. So this is going to give you a good sense of value, okay? So you've got Nathan Ake, who's 5'11", not the best height for a centre-back. Good pace, you know, great agility balance, great defending and physical. He's, he's just decent. Like, there's better centre-backs out there, but he's, he's good value, right? So keep these card stats in mind. And then look at this guy. I actually cannot I cannot believe it, okay? So hear me out here. This guy is six foot three. Crazy good pace. Great agility balance. You know, for someone that's six foot three, that agility balance is no joke. That's very good. Elite defending and physicals. And this guy is coming in at a grand total. Of 30,000 coins. You can make that in one day easily. You know, even outside of champs and rivals, you can make, you can get 30k. This, this guy genuinely, like, you could use this guy at any point of the year in centre-back. And he's going to be absolutely fine. Like, this is genuinely up there as one of the best centre-backs in the whole game. He's rapid. He's six foot three. He's got the great jumping. Elite defending. He's good on the ball. He's a ball-playing centre-back. He's got 90 short, long pass with 80 vision. 30,000 coins. With players like this in the game, it has never, ever, ever been easier to get a good team. Never in a million years has it ever been this easy. Because 30,000 coins for a centre-back this good is absolutely insane. He is better than Ake. He is better than Ake. He's three inches taller. He's got a better sprint speed and acceleration split. His defending's actually better. It's actually crazy. It's crazy. I, I seriously recommend trying this guy out. These are the value players that I selected. But guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with me that it has never been easier to get a good team on paper? You know, a solid, like, team that can compete with the top teams. Because this Schlotterbeck, he'll be able to deal with R9 and stuff. As long as you're good enough, he'll be able to deal with it. It's crazy. But if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for chilling with me. And peace.